Hi friends, I hope you are having a wonderful 2023. I know I enjoyed taking some time off in December and really resetting myself to go into the new year with lots of painting and art making and filming. Writing down my resolutions for my art making this year and setting really clear goals is the one thing that I'm really relying on to making sure that I hit all those milestones that I'm planning to. I'll be sharing how I plan for art practice weekly and monthly and how I keep track of my progress to make sure I get everything I need to get done. Because I have so many different streams of income as a new full-time artist, it can be easy to let some things slip through the cracks. The best platform that I've found to keep track of all these things in my life and art career is Notion. They have kindly sponsored today's video and I'm so excited to share more about this platform with you. So if you don't already know what Notion is, it's an all-in-one platform that you can use to plan, add calendars, add to-do lists, write notes, and do all of your work in one place. You can use it for personal things like shopping lists or journals, and you can use it for organizing things in your career. It's also a really great place to set New Year's resolutions and actually commit to your goals and see them through this year. So I'm using Notion this year to keep track of my progress in a limitless, customizable, and aesthetically pleasing space. That is also something I love about Notion. As a creative person, I think I could spend hours just adding cute pictures and color coding each page, <laughs> but I know that it's going to be really helpful for me because then I'll check it every day because it's something that I really want to look at. It's also great for artists who are working on commissions, so that way you can collaborate with your client and they can add pictures on a page of things that they are using as inspiration and it makes it so easy to share ideas and work together. You can start planning your new year with Notion for free at the link in my description. All right, I'm so excited to show you my pages and my plans for this year and my art, so let's get started. So when I first open Notion, I have my dashboard page right here and I scroll down and I get a really good overview of my month my week and all the things I need to get done. It's really nice for me to be able to see this all in one place. I usually do this sort of thing on my physical planner that I have right here which I still love, but it has limited space and sometimes I have to cross things out and change things around. It gets really crowded and it's kind of hard to keep everything clean and organized when I need to rearrange things. So that's something that I really love about Notion. Obviously it's online, but the space is literally limitless. So I can make as many changes as I need and add as many to-do items as I want. So scrolling down on my dashboard page, we get to these sections for my career items, my personal items, general life things, and some miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to start with my 2023 art goals and reflections. Notion has been a game changer to just planning out my career and really thinking about where I want to take things, how I want my art to progress, what types of paintings I want to do. As I've said, like I think about this all in my head, but if I don't write it down, then I feel like it's really easy to let those things slip through the cracks and not really commit to getting them done. This is a template that I downloaded from another YouTuber and I'll link most of these templates that I've used below. I've gone through and like switched things up and added pictures and changed a few things to fit my needs, but I will link most of them in the description so that you can use them too. To begin with, I'm going to go to my simple resolutions page. And this again is for my art career. I want to make four paintings a month, go to a museum, gallery, or art show every month, take one online art course a week, sell one original painting every quarter, and commit to one online art challenge this year. Having them in this really easy, large font makes them seem a little intimidating, but below that you can add details in this little toggle list, and I'll show you those really quick. That kind of makes it more attainable so for four paintings a month, they can be any size, any medium, oil paints, watercolor, acrylic. A big thing for me is that I don't need to film all of them. That is the biggest thing in my art career that holds me back from making as many paintings as I'd like because obviously when you film them, it takes twice as long. So if I commit to making four paintings and I know mentally I don't need to film all of these for the channel, just a few of them, I think that's really going to help me get more paintings out every month. And so four paintings a month, four times 12, that's like 48 
I hope my math is right, 48 paintings a year. And that's really, really good. So I think that's gonna be an attainable goal for me this year. Next, going to a museum, gallery, or art show every month, I said consider getting a pass at our local museum here in Atlanta and then finding local art shows online. This is something that I really think is going to be good for inspiration and maybe meeting other people who are into art in my area and making new friends. I think that's really going to help me get out there and get more involved in the local art community. My third resolution for my art career this year is to take one online art course a week. This can be on Skillshare, on YouTube, and I think committing to doing one a week is really doable for me. And I said it can be on any creative topic, painting, filming, drawing, etc. Anything that I just like am really interested in. Next, I said I want to sell one original painting every quarter. This can be an organic sale in my online art shop, a commissioned painting, or to friends and family. And then finally, uh, commit to one online art challenge this year. I haven't really done any since I was a teenager and I don't want to do them all the time because they can be a little overwhelming and can kind of burn you out, but I think doing one this year will be a lot of fun. So some examples is Paint-tober, one painting a day or week in October following those prompts, the 100 hedge challenge. I think that'll be really good for me to do since I like drawing portraits, painting every day for a month, draw this again, pick an old artwork and recreate it. That one would be fun to do as well. And then I found this new one that I haven't heard of, but it's plain air air april plain air april like plain air in the month of april so do one plain air painting a day in april i think that would just be so healing for my soul to be out in nature during the spring i might also really do that one so we'll see which one i pick those are my big resolutions for 2023 and i think they're all easily attainable and seeing them reaching down has really been helping me all right so back to my 2023 art goals and reflections page it has a section for skills and I just wrote out, are there any skills I want to improve on this year? And then I answered anything I specifically want to learn more about this year. I've got some things in here like color mixing, art history, art books, taking more classes on life drawing especially. And then I've got my YouTube slash Instagram goals. So this is more of a career social media thing for my art business, focusing on community over numbers. That's something that's really helped me keep a level head and not get too prideful or disappointed with how certain posts or videos do online. And then finally, it has this section for 2022 reflections and 2023 growth. Three favorite parts of 2022, plein air painting in Italy and Yosemite National Park, completing an online life drawing course. I feel like that really, really helps improve my skills. And then finally, connecting with you all in comments and DMs. I love reading your messages and I try to reply to as many as I can, but that always makes my day. And then what am I most proud of? Staying consistent with art making and vlogs and surviving the end of the year, which was a very busy schedule for me. What challenged me the most? Figure painting and drawing and then <laughs> trying to work when we just got mango. She was a handful. What did I learn about myself in 2022? I need art friends in person or <laughs> friends in person in general. Moving to a new area area can be really hard and working from home, it is hard to meet people. So I really want to prioritize that in 2023. And then I also need to prioritize a better work-life balance. And then one of my favorite moments was painting in Yosemite National Park, painting a distant mountain range, and then relaxing by a creek and the weather was perfect. Going into 2023 growth, how do I want to feel in 2023? I want to feel fulfilled with my work, but not overworked. I want to feel challenged and also motivated to keep getting better. What does this year mean to me? A second year of dedicating my time to art and I can't wait to see how much I improve. What am I worried about? Uh, letting the stress of my career overshadow the fun and enjoyment of following my dreams. So those are my big 2023 art goals and reflections. And now I will go into how I'm going to take those goals and resolutions and incorporate incorporate them into my daily schedule so that I'm making sure that I keep these goals and follow through in 2023 without getting overwhelmed. So back on my home dashboard, we will go into these other pages that I have on my career section. First, we will start with my daily to-dos. 
I love this section because it's so easy to see everything I need to do in the week and I've got tons of space to just add endless to-dos if I have that much work to get done. So you can see a few things that I have planned out for the week. I gotta check these things off and then once I'm done with them, I can drag them into this little toggle space and they will be archived. This keeps everything so clean. Another thing I love about Notion is that you can link to other pages within pages. So at the bottom of every day, I have a link to my arts habit tracker page. So when I click on that, it will lead me to this page. I don't expect to do all of these every day, but I want to try to get as many done as I can. So something new that I'm implementing this year into my art career is finding one new artist or painting for inspiration every day and then listing one new painting idea or concept. I think this will be great to have just a database of artists and paintings that I'm inspired by and then listing one new painting idea or concept. I don't know if you do this, but whenever you sit down to paint and you're like, okay, I really want to paint, but now I can't think of anything that I thought of when I didn't have time to paint. So listing one painting idea or concept down a day, I think is gonna be great because I can go back at the end of the week and I'll have seven new ideas that I can choose from when it's time for me to paint or sketch. Then obviously sketching and painting every day. Not gonna get that done realistically, but it's just to keep track of when I do. Hopefully I get it done once a week. So again, going off the theme of linking pages within pages, I can go ahead and click on this link once I have a new artist or artwork that I want to list down every day. Since this is something new that I'm doing. I don't have it completely filled out yet, but by the end of the week, I should have a ton of artists in here already. Okay, so going back to the dashboard again, and then those pages where my painting concepts and artists inspo are under my creative ideas journal. This is just to brain dump ideas, explain artwork meanings, or list inspirations for new work. I can also put in scripts for vlogs that I'm recording, and it's all in one place and super easy to get to. And then to make a new one, I just hit new, and I fill out all of this information. I can tag it as something for work, add a title, add an icon. I really can't stress how simple and easy this is to use. The last link under my careers area is my art blogs tracker. This is so helpful for projects. It doesn't even have to be um, YouTube videos. It can be for paintings that you're planning or commission works. This database, I mean, it works like a spreadsheet basically, and you can add all these different criteria and filter things. This is a template that I got from Thomas Frank and I will link that again below if you would like to use it. Now I'm going to quickly go over some of the personal pages that I have in here. I won't go into too much detail, but I'll just show you what they look like. So on my to-do page, on my personal section, very similar to my art one, just with personal things that I need to get done. And this again links to a habit trackers things, but for personal items. So waking up at eight, reading 30 minutes a day, eating three good meals, yoga, practicing piano, and drinking water. So you saw my habit tracker and then my reading list, which is something I'm really excited about. I need to go through and finish putting all the books that I've read, but I've put in a lot of them so far. I'm excited to keep track of which books I really liked, which ones I didn't, and I can add things for podcasts or TV shows even. Yeah, I just love this little section. It makes me excited. All right, so. The last dashboard that I will show you is the one I have for my art business for selling prints and original things like that. This one is pretty simple, but it's very effective. I've just got a calendar here of all the other things going on in my life and then sections for shop work, things that need to get done this week, this month, and important dates. So I'm trying to reopen the shop with new prints and paintings by the end of this month. So that is something I will be working on. And so I've got another daily to-do section, very similar concept as the other ones, but for my art business specifically. And then this is a link to my website that I sell my prints and paintings on and my art vlogs planner again, and then a big page for my January shop update. So I've just got a basic timeline of everything I need to get done to reopen my shop 
and then I will be adding pictures of the prints I'm selecting and the original paintings I'm selecting to sell in this shop opening. So that is how I'm using Notion this year to keep track of my new art resolutions and all my planning for my entire life basically on Notion. You can use the link in my description to get started planning your 2023 for free. And I will also link the templates that I've used in some of my pages if you want to use those too so you don't have to start from scratch. I hope that you're also setting some resolutions that help your personal growth and development. Taking breaks is something that I've made and one of my personal resolutions. If you want to share some, comment them down below and we can keep each other accountable. I'm excited to hear some of your resolutions and goals for 2023. For now, I am wishing you all the best. I hope you enjoyed this little sit down chat that we had. I know it's different from my usual art vlogs, but those will be back very soon and I will see you next time. Bye.